Hey everyone, quick update. I'm on holiday, so while I'm away, our intros will be a bit different. But don't worry, I'm still here, reading your comments and staying connected. Hit like if you enjoyed today's episode, drop a comment for me to check out, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Fancy extra content? Check out my Patreon. Enjoy the episode, and I'll see you in the comments. Okay, let's continue with uh, our adventure, our lovely game. Sergeant Dago, we're pulling back. The middle city is lost. Not this still sounds very soft to me. <laughs> uh, maybe we do this. That sounds a little bit better. How about you faster, Idril? provide support. Oh, I didn't even see that coming. Sorry. 
I'll be back on the wall before the next assault. Skill points. You've earned enough experience points to gain a skill point. Skill points can be spent to unlock new skills or to upgrade existing ones. Okay, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> so we've got all these. Um, yellow ones are story mission upgrades. And uh, yeah, depending on what you choose, that is what you are going to uh, play like. So they don't give you any option here. You have to, you have to get the Elven Agility. Uh, so, yep, there we go. I've got Elven Agility right now. The Siege of Minasithil. Secure the uh, Palantir. Complete side quest to prevent the Palantir from falling into Sauron's hands. Okay. Story quests are indicated by the exclamation icon. Mordor also teams with captains. You can hunt for XP and gear. Captains can be found in the world by their skull icon or by undertaking Nemesis missions. Highlighting the exclamation story quest, then pressing spacebar to set it as your new objective uh, we're not gonna do photo mode right now yeah we will banish from death when you are killed time advances and you resu uh, resurrect at the nearest fast travel point nemesis missions resolve and the victor victorious captains level up new nemesis missions begin and any vacancies in the army menu may be filled. Nemesis missions are active for a limited time. Whenever time advances, the counter below the mission decreases. When it expires, the mission is automatically resolved. Okay. Why am I... Yeah, okay. We need to get there. Ooh. Okay. Uh, there's something there. A shield of memory. Okay. Found something. Ooh. Found something again. The city is built on the ruins of my kingdom. Yet some things remain. Those are my barrows, still hidden from Sauron's sight. 
there I will show you why we must retrieve my ring. Okay. Shadows of the past now available. We're not going to do that right now. We are going to uh, get this fast travel point. So the strategy is the same as the previous game. Uh, side quests, uh, power struggles before before we uh, hit main missions. No, I will do that, but not now. We want to get there. Perfect. Now the next one is over here. Let's go. That's the ranger. Whoa, massively. Again, another massive leap. Hello. Normally, he tell you about all the horrible things he'll do to you, but I lost a bet, and now I have to do it instead. Now forget this. Let's just get on with the killing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the captains in this in this game is uh different. This entire game is much much better. Again, I I cannot say this enough. Okay, perfect. That is everything. Skill point gained. Nice. Let's see what we have. Okay, so, um, hmm. You've unlocked a new skin for Talion. Left shift to, pr to continue. Skins? Unlock skins uh, can be equipped for Talion here. Selects selected skins will not impact Talion's weapons, animations, or abilities. Skins of characters other than Talion are only cosmetic. Talion's voice will remain the same regardless of skin selection, with some exceptions. Cinematic, cinematic scenes will still show Talion's standard skin. Characters will not acknowledge the change in his appearance. 
to... Okay. I don't want to change skin, though. I'll show you. But I'm not going to change skin. Celebrimbor. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm not going to change skins. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. Executions. Yeah. Mm. Brutalize. That's a cool one. Uh, detonate. Wraith Brace of Daggers. Caragor Rider. Drain. Uh, spectral Clave. Let's do... I want to do... Uh, executions. Okay. Do we have any gear? No, we don't. Okay. Oh. Let's see here. So, we've got some things to do. I think what I'll do is I'll start with this, uh, this memory. Fast travel. She loves memory. Web of Fate. Okay, how to do this? I cannot remember. I honestly cannot remember. Ah, uh, here we go. The Web of Fate will reveal the truth of Shelob's past and Mordor's future. Find them all to unlock the Cluster of Spider skill upgrade. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So, uh, yeah. Like this video if you enjoy my content. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have. And then also go check out our Patreon page where you can get some exclusive perks for a small monthly contribution. And it also helps me out and the channel. The, the I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So I truly appreciate all the support and help from all of you. The link is in the description below. So yeah, go check it out. Uh, with that being said, uh, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.